Okay, so here we've got a rectangle. It's not drawn accurately, so we're supposed to use logic, not scales or anything. Work out the length of the diagonal. So we're trying to work out this length here, and you should be able to see, and these are always the same sort of thing, we could use a right angle triangle. So this length, which I'll call L, Pythagoras says that the hypotenuse squared is the square of the other two sides added together. So the length squared must be 35 squared plus 30 squared, which would be 2125. So the length is therefore the square root of 2125. And you'd get yourself, if you decimalised it, 46.1 centimetres to 1 dp. OK, and that's the length of that diagonal. Now, part B says the rectangle used in part A is the base of this box. So that rectangle there is the same as the one we've previously worked out. Now, we, pre we said previously that that diagonal there is 46.1 centimetres. Will a rod of length one meter fit in the box, you must show your working. Now I know this here is 46.1. Uh, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another right angle triangle here. Imagine that this here being a right angle triangle. And the rod we're concerned about would fit across like that. Now you know this is right angled and you know this distance here is 46.1. And in particular, if you square it, it's 2125, okay? And you know this height here is 87, right? So let's work out what this length is here, which I might call R for rod. The rod squared must be equal to 46.1 squared, which when we, we can know that is 2125, okay? So that squared plus 87 squared. And when we do that calculation, we get 9, 6, 9, 4. So therefore, the length of the rod is the square root of that. And we get 98.5 centimetres. Now, can a rod of 1 metre fit there, therefore? A rod of 1 metre, no, it cannot, as 100 centimetres will not fit. And it's as simple as that.